So here at Tulia, we've been on the very hyper growth trajectory and over the period of years, as we didn't look back, we end up accumulating so much of our technical debt. What happened in Trulia's case, we tried to pull out a lot of the code out of the monolith and create these services. But at the end of the day, we had to still implement those services back into the monolith. The main code base grew to such a size where you would go down this rabbit hole and the further you would go, more and more difficult it would become to fix. So you would be forced to patch it up in the easiest way possible, which in turn would create more additional technical debt. As engineers, we spent a lot of our time trying to make things work in the old legacy platform instead of working on new exciting features with new exciting languages. It got to the point where we were just like, we had to start from scratch, and that's what we did. It all started when some of the engineers came together and they're not going to accept the status quo in that innovation week. They did this project and they said, look, if we go and use this new technology, we can move fast. And that's where we came up with this idea about Project Islands. I realized that it was a big deal for the company because then at the end of the Innovation Week, we did the presentation of the project and we won the prize. So every engineer at Trulia voted for us and it was pretty clear that we were trying to solve a pain. The front-end part is based on a framework called Next.js. So the entire stack is based on like JavaScript and React. And then for the backend part, we are using GraphQL. Deep in, invited me to join as uh, architect. My work primarily centers around assuring that all the teams are able to work in sync. The teams own the architecture, they build the architecture. You know, my role is to lay things out in a way that allows them to work in concert. Transitioning to the islands architecture was kind of like trying to replace an engine of a 747 mid-flight. The engineering department was extremely excited about this new project. There were a few growing pains along the way, but working closely together, we were able to smooth them. What we're doing here is we're splitting up that giant code base into individual code bases that are focused on very specific features, and the teams that are responsible for those features can work independently of other teams. The application shell is where we house a lot of our shared functionality. A-B testing, tracking, authentication, the navigation bar, the footer, all of that functionality is provided by the app shell to the islands. Our philosophy always been, you know, we are the innovators. We want to move fast. And the way we do this is, you know, being an early adopter of the new technologies. And, you know, we go out and we look into what is being used and how we are going to scale. And when we take those risks, we work as a collaborators and as a team sport to make sure that all of us are in this together. I like to go around and ask, okay, how is like now your your day-to-day -day job, right, compared to where you used to? And everyone say, oh, thank you, it's so great. Now I can like just focus on my code, deliver my feature, I see my code deployed quickly, and it's like completely different world. And to me, that's like is one of the proof that we are in the right direction. I am very proud of what we accomplished so far. It has been challenging, but it has also been fun, and I'm looking forward to what we can build next.